With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the given question is a parallel plate capacitor with plate area A and separation between the plates is D is being charged by a constant current I. Okay. Now we have to consider a plane surface of area A by 2 parallel to the plates and drawn symmetrically between the plates. Now we have to find the displacement current through this area. Okay. So what exactly we are given is that let's suppose these two are parallel plate capacitors. Okay. And separation between these. Okay. So let this be the separation. This separation is given as D. Okay. So this is the first plate. And this one is the second plate. Now this is being charged by a constant current I. Okay, so let's suppose a constant current I is passing through this. So what I'm doing is we have to consider a plane which is having a area D by 2 symmetrically between these plates. Okay, so let this be the area A by 2 of area A by 2 and we have to find the displacement current through this. Okay, so so let's suppose the charge on the capacitor at time T is Q okay the charge on the capacitor plates at time t is q now the electric field between the plates is given by the electric field between the plates as we know is given by q upon epsilon naught i okay so this is the area of electric field between the plates okay now we have to find the displacement current for this we need flux also okay so what i write is that flux the electric flux phi e is given by uh, electric field into area so electric field is q by epsilon naught a so q by epsilon naught a into area area we have given with a by 2 okay since we have to find the displacement current through this area a by 2 hence the area i am considering here is a by 2 okay so this a a we cancel out and overall i am getting flux as q by 2 epsilon naught okay so this is the flux now as we know that the displacement current is given by the displacement current is given by id equals to epsilon naught times of d phi e by dt okay so what i'm doing is epsilon naught as it is okay so 1 by 2 epsilon naught will come out okay now i am differentiating q with respect to t since i have differentiated phi with q and now i will be writing dq by dt okay so what I'm writing is what I'm getting. So I'm getting this epsilon naught epsilon naught cancel out. This is getting 1 by 2 into dq by dt. Okay. And we know that the rate of change of charge equals to current. Hence I am getting the displacement current as i by 2. Okay. Where i is the constant current through which capacitor is being charged. Okay. I hope you understand. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.